Sloan was a legend in the sports world, but at home in his small southern Illinois town where he was born. We're in McLeansboro, Illinois, and um, it's part of southern Illinois, about oh, two hours from St. Louis. Jerry Sloan stayed grounded in his hometown of McLeansboro, Illinois. It's this house where he enjoyed the great outdoors and sometimes fishing with NBA players John Stockton and Carl Malone. And now this estate is for sale. This house is about 9,700 square feet, four bedrooms and five full bathrooms, uh, finished basement, um, but the creme de la creme in this house is the outdoor space. Quite a complex for a man who was the youngest of 10 and worked his way into the basketball record books and Hall of Fame. In McLeansboro is where Jerry and his wife Bobby first met and later built this house. They knew each other in eighth grade and my mom didn't have any interest in him because he was five foot six. I think he grew uh, as a sophomore to be six foot five, and then she had some interest in him. <laughs> this is not the house that Kathy Wood grew up in. No, this is the house that Jerry Sloan had built with retirement in mind. Sloan is the only NBA coach to record 1,000 wins with the same franchise. He was very loyal, and they were the Utah Jazz was very loyal to him. He did have John and Carl behind him as well, and that helped. After her dad passed in May, the family decided to sell the house with features like a cardinal bathroom with stained glass, or a workout room, or a pool and fire pit, and more, lots more. The house and 53 acres all fenced are for sale for $1.1 million. Yes, it's a small town, but uh, this is what you're buying it for. So I hope somebody gets it because they're going to love it as much as we have. The impressive and well-earned house tells the story of a small-town boy who became a basketball great. And new memories will be made here for the right buyer. In McLeansboro, Illinois, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News. Wow.